In today's video, we are going to be looking at the intelligence of the Golden Retriever and the best way to train them. Welcome back to the Golden Retriever channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Tebocho. I'm a canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Golden Retriever. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Golden Retriever. So, if you're a lifelong Golden Retriever lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new Golden Retriever, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a future Golden Retriever video. So then, let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the intelligence levels of the Golden Retriever and the best way to train them to keep both you and them happy together. Now, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the Goldens are highly intelligent. They are working dogs after all. But it's just a question of how clever they are. A study of 208 dog obedience judges from the US and Canada concluded that they ranked as fourth smartest breed behind collies, poodles and German shepherds. To put this into perspective, they have the same intelligence as a toddler and can learn up to 150 to 170 words. These dogs are quick to pick up commands and also to retain a lot of information given consistent training and so their popularity as service dogs is a perfect fit for this breed. They are at their happiest when they are mentally occupied. And this can be achieved either as a working dog or in a mentally stimulating home environment. Goldens can be more than happy in a family home as they are social dogs and aim to please. Their history of working closely with their human counterparts translates into their behaviors even today. If you don't work your golden, they can put their intelligence to good use in the home. Keeping them mentally stimulated throughout the day by giving them small tasks is a perfect way to keep them happy. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below I think you'll really enjoy the journey but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching with their training you can start with simple commands almost as soon as you welcome them into their home let them get settled first of course but they are extremely receptive to learning even from 8 to 10 weeks old as mentioned earlier in this video we know that they have capacity to learn a lot of words However, you still want to keep the first commands they learn to be simple, single words. So, sit, stay, wait, etc. As they mature, you can start to introduce more complex commands. It is still important to keep the first simple commands throughout their training, even as they mature. This keeps everything fresh in their mind and it also tests their capacity to retain information. Be sure to make it fun. For example, as they get older, you can introduce new toys to them and teach them a name for each toy. This way you can test their memory and make a game of fetching specific toys for you. Now, due to their people-pleasing nature, they respond extremely well to positive reinforcement. That can be with a tasty treat or even simple praise. Try both from a young age and you'll quickly learn which one your golden prefers. Consistency is still key when training an intelligent dog. Don't think that because they can retain information that you can teach them until they know something and then stop training them. They still need daily training to stimulate them mentally. A bored dog becomes a destructive one very quickly. If you don't always have time to do a full training session, you can give them puzzles to figure out on their own. Puzzle feeders are perhaps one of the best ways to keep a clever dog happy and out of mischief. You can forego feeding them in a bowl just using a puzzle feeder a couple times a day at mealtimes, that will kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. So to recap this video, a golden retriever is in the top five most intelligent breeds and are able to learn and retain over 150 words. 
Given the correct and consistent mental stimulation, they can be a joy and a family home. And they could even be taught to help with some of the chores. And whilst they are quick to learn, make sure to keep them occupied in a healthy and fun way, or they will become mischievous and even destructive. And lastly, a puzzle feeder may be your best friend. So it's worth looking into getting one if you decide on getting one of these fabulous dogs. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Golden Retriever videos coming out every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Golden Retriever Show. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just wanna be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there.